Hello and welcome to Pizza 360. I'm Daniel Lee Perea. Joining us today is our special guest, Mr. Rudy J. Waldner. Rudy Waldner is a marketing expert and has helped many a pizzeria with his advice. He has lectured at many companies in the U.S. and abroad. He's hosted numerous book signings and trench marketing workshops and has appeared all around the world. And uh, all of his uh, great advice is in this book, Marketing from the Trenches, Your Guide to Retail Success. So, uh, Rudy, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's get right into it. What's the state of traditional marketing strategies today, such as direct mail and print advertising? Do these methods still work for restaurant operators? It, it's certainly part of the combination, but I believe that what happens behind the counter is much more important than anything you do outside of the store. In your book, Marketing from the Trenches, you define the trench marketing program as, quote, everything I can do to grow my own business. And you underline the I. Tell us why that statement is so important. I've seen, I've seen so often where uh, a, a shop owner would, would hire an outside agency, pay them, and expect them to grow their business. And it's not about handing off the work. It's what you control within your four walls and your, through your employees and through your customers. That's how you grow a business. Let's go through your action steps that you discuss in your book. The first is place. How does place relate to marketing? Okay, so what is the experience when a, when a prospect or a customer comes into your place, your place of business? You, you have to make, make it an exceptional experience for all the five senses. So it's got to smell good. It's got to look good. You have to be greeted. You have to hear the right music. It, so you, you cater to all the senses. That's what that is. Very interesting. So um, all the senses, yeah, the aromas play into it, and the, uh, even the, uh, how about the, uh, the, the fabric on your booths? Why not, right? I mean, you know this is easy to clean, right? You know that. And I hate when it's a cloth one and I can't clean it. It makes me crazy already. So yes, the fabric does count. Everything counts. Now, you say that cleanliness equals credibility. Can you expand on that? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's most especially in the restaurant industry, right? Um, if you know it or not, you're judged by A, what your restroom looks like, right? So if you have a dirty restroom, that's not going to be a good experience if the customer knows it or not. We know that, right? So um, that A, B, every uh, counter, every piece of glass, and every piece of chrome should be sparkling. It's, it, just, it, it just adds to the effect. Okay, what about uh, signs? How important is, how important is uh, placement and color on all your signage? Huge. Uh, the sign is the number one reason someone comes into your building. Black on white can be seen from the furthest distance. And colors mean something. Every color stands for something, like red, like McDonald's, right? That's the first color the eye sees. Um, pink is playful, like uh, Victoria's Secret, Screen, Starbucks for growth, right? So whatever you want to do on the inside, that's fine. That, that works with a theme. But black on white can be seen from the furthest distance. So when you're walking through the airport, you can see my book title. <laughs> all strategic. So let's go back to utilizing all the senses again. Uh, what's a good example of that? Well, I'll give you a bad example. Have you gone to a seafood restaurant and you've smelled the bad fish from the dumpster? I, I have, yes. Or, or uh, I remember another one. Uh, uh, I went into a dry cleaner and I could smell from next door the, the Chinese uh, fry oil. I mean, that's not a good experience. So the opposite of that, perhaps, is uh, like a doctor's office should maybe smell like pine salt. Uh, your restaurant, I'd love garlic all the time, right? So yeah, that's a smell. Now, that's a smell. The second P in your book is people, but specifically employees, correct? That's right. How do they relate to marketing? Your employees are the face of your brand, right? So in, in, I would spend my marketing dollars on incentives for my employees before I spent them on anything else. So not only finding good employees, but then incentivizing them is, is very key to success? It's, it's the biggest key. It's, to me, it's the biggest key to success. Every company I've ever run, any brand I've ever consulted for, we've always come in on top, delivered the highest top line dollars because of satisfied employees. And I did all of that through little, little incentives. Leave early. No side work today if you sell the most specials. Something like that. Now, yesterday I heard a pizzeria operator talking about how um, if he tried to just find a, you know, spend a little bit less on employment, he ends up paying for that cost because the employee just isn't as good as if he just paid a little more and got somebody better. You see? That's exactly my point. All right. How do you recognize or reward the efforts of employees who are going above and beyond the call of duty? 
Oh, you know, you have to find out. It's very specific. Some people like a pat on the back. Some people like money. Some people like public adulation. So I, whatever works for the employee or a combination of all of the above, right? Depends how big the staff is. If it's a big staff, I, I, I post rankings every day. This guy sold this many specials. This guy sold many, you know, what, whatever, whatever the upsell is for the day. Maybe you want, maybe you want to push dessert because that adds um, revenue to your ticket, right? So whoever sold the most dessert, you know, gets Michael sold the most desserts, gets on a chalkboard in the back. Michael doesn't have to do the dishes today. Whatever that, whatever the, the incentive is. Well, the third P in your book is partners or business partners. This means joining forces with other business, businesses and the community, correct? Absolutely. Who are some effective business partners? So business partners are very, very specific to your location. So whenever I consult, I go to the location and I walk 10 minutes in each direction and I start to form thoughts of who, who we could um, business partner with. But it's very specific to the location. Some, I mean... Uh, an example that will work across the board, but again, depending on how far it is from your location, is like an apartment complex, right? Because it's, it's dense population. So if you got into their welcome envelope, right? If you move into an apartment, off times or most times, there's an envelope from all the local vendors. That would be great if, if you can get included in that. Excellent. How does one go about building these relationships with these partners? Try to be a customer first. You know, if it's, some, if it's a product that you might want to use, use it, right? And then I always say go to who you know first, right? So whatever industry you worked in or you know people, whatever club you belong to, go into that kind of business so you know what, what used to uh, irritate me when I'd work in a deli. I have 12 people online and a salesman comes in and tries to pitch me. I'm like, what are you, retarded? I'm, I'm working here, right? So you need to know that. Right? You know, so you don't approach the food industry during lunch hour. So you go to who you know. For example, um, I used to do martial arts. So I know never interrupt the teacher when he's teaching. You wait till the lesson's done, and then maybe you can work out a plan. So uh, what martial art did you train in? Oh, quite a few. Uh, Muay Thai, uh, Tang Soo Do, Taekwondo. I I've done that for a lot, for a long time. You, you fight Chuck Norris. Who wins? <laughs> Chuck, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's about all the time we got for this week, so thank you for being on Pizza 360. Thanks for having me. For more information, visit us online at pmq.com. Uh, follow us on social media and download our free app. For Pizza 360, on behalf of Rudy Waldner, I'm Daniel Lee Perea. <laughs>